Police say a 34 year old woman was stopped by an officer on the Jane Adams tollway early this morning. The 19 year veteran officer tells investigators that's when things took a deadly turn and the woman pulled out a knife. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports police and the woman's family now have questions about why she was shot. Right now, we just want, we want answers. Answers to Cynthia Clemens' family says about how a check on her stopped car ended with an Elgin police officer shooting and killing her. There was no warrant out for her arrest or anything of that nature. So like right now, what I say is like we're grieving, we're trying to get through it and figure out what happened. Elgin's police chief says it began early this morning when officers tried pulling the 34-year-old Clements over for an unspecified reason. He says she drove off. A short time later, officers noticed her now damaged car on the side of I-90 near Route 25. Elgin officers made contact uh, with the subject and observed that she was armed with a knife. Officers then disengaged immediately. Then Chief Jeff Svoboda says officers noticed a fire inside her car and tried to pull her out. There was an exchange, and that's the part that we're still that the state police will be investigating what occurred. That then the officer discharged their firearm, striking the female. Clements later died. Chief Svoboda says 19-year department veteran and SWAT team member Lieutenant Christian Jensen is the one who fired his gun. Would there be any reason to think that she might have been on drugs or something was or having a psychotic break or a mental illness issue where she might have acted erratically? Even if, even if she, just say that, that she did, the worst scenario that she did, I still don't see that they should have used deadly force on a female that only weighed 100 pounds. The police chief here says between the time the officers noticed the knife and the fire inside the car, they negotiated with her for about an hour. All of the officers involved, he says, were wearing body cameras. They are now giving that footage to the Illinois State Police, which is now leading this investigation. We are live in Elgin. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Rob. Okay, Dana, thank you.